late breaking. This is KOCO 5 News at 6. Developing tonight, another execution on deck in Oklahoma. Our state preparing to execute a second person following the reopening of the execution chamber this year. Bigler Stouffer will be put to death tomorrow morning for a murder that was committed in 1985. That is, unless, of course, the Supreme Court steps in at the last minute. Thanks for joining us here tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Evan Onstott. KOCO's Dylan Richards has been following this story for us, and he joins us now with what the next 24 hours could hold. In 16 hours, Oklahoma plans to execute Bigler Stouffer for murdering a school teacher named Linda Reeves and nearly killing Doug Evans 36 years ago. Today, unlikely his last day alive, his lawyers are making a final filing to the U.S. Supreme Court. We feel like... Mr. Stouffer should be treated the same as everyone else uh, and given his opportunity to have his day in court. They say he shouldn't be executed while other death row inmates challenge Oklahoma's lethal ejection procedure in a different lawsuit. Stouffer claims he wasn't allowed to join that suit, but courts have rejected his efforts to stop his execution. And the state writes to the court today that the people of Oklahoma and victims' families deserve better than more delay. And there are developments in the case of another death row inmate. That's Wade Lay. He was scheduled to be executed in about a month, but a court in Pittsburgh County found that there were concerns over whether he's competent to be executed and delayed his date. In that case, Lay's lawyers say he believes his execution is part of a vast government conspiracy. After the new year, a jury will decide whether he can be executed.